Hey guys, this is Mike from EE Tech Reviews, and I again want to thank you guys for watching. We just hit almost 600 subs, so I want to thank you. I'm going to keep going. I want to hit that thousand sub mark as quickly as possible. So thank you for the support. And today we got an interesting set of headphones. We got the new Sony Link Buds. What I want to really do quickly with these new earbuds is just go over a quick unboxing, give you some general thoughts, and through that you'll see some pros, you'll hear some cons. And then at the end, I'm just going to give you that that decision that you want to know. Should you buy these or not? So first things first, the packaging is very small. I like that. You're not wasting any material. Everything that you need is in this box. You got your charging cable and you got your case and basically you pair it and you got different size plastic little wraps for your ear tips so that you can make sure that they fit your ears in the best way possible. First thing you notice taking these out, very small, very, very light. I'll show you some weights um, on the scale a little later. Right on the case, again, USB-C, I love that. Some other headphones still use the older USB types. I'm glad it has USB-C and I'm glad it has a pairing button to make it simple and easy to open. After opening up, you hit that little button, which is nice to have a locked hinge. Uh, you do notice that the hinge itself is actually pretty bad. It's very floppy, it feels loose, it feels cheap. Uh, the actual quality of that build feels very cheap and plasticky. Uh, a little let down there in the sense that these are 180 plus dollar earbuds very expensive for what you're actually getting i like how they say with the r and the l on it and they have different colors the case is leds so you can also confirm if you're charging or if it's paired and just comparing it to some other earbuds like the airpods and i got some soundcore earbuds and i even got the airpod pros in here they're just about the same size i think their actual footprint is a little bit tinier and Interesting enough, they're, they're way lighter than anything out there still. So I think that's a very, very interesting and uh, different example. What I do want to talk about is these earbuds right here, the Life A1s. The difference between these and what I think should have been the most important part of these earbuds is that they are very good in terms of secure fit. First things I really want to talk about here is you look at these ear tips, these little wings on the sides of the Sony. They're actually very, very weak. These are what actually goes underneath your ear and kind of locks it in place. But I actually have anxiety with these Sony earbuds. I feel like if I'm walking or running or cycling, which I use the Life A1s for on the right side, they're, they're, they don't feel tight. They don't feel secure. I'm a little bit nervous and have anxiety that they're going to fall out. Whereas the Life A1s, the plastic and, and then the little rubber that they use for the ear tips are actually a lot more stiff and secure. Uh, so a little bit unfortunate that that's what it turned out to be. I think that's a huge drawback because I was looking to use these for exercise, but at this point, I don't really trust and think that you should use them. Again, the weight that I want to talk about, they also feel very light in your ears. They're about four grams for an earbud, which is literally nothing. They're extremely, extremely lightweight. The case, you only add another 33 grams. So you're talking about 41 grams for the whole package. Extremely light. Maybe it's good for weightlifting if you want to be able to hear what's going on around you because you can slap those in your ears. They're super light, super easy to transport, and you can still kind of hear and have, have that background music while you're working out. What I do want to talk about again, the open ear design, I think you're going to be losing a lot of the audio quality that you actually expect. Since they're not stuck in your ear, you're not going to have noise canceling. You're not going to have any noise isolation. You're going to hear everything. You're going to hear your keyboard clicks. You're going to hear your steps. You're going to hear people murmuring in the side of the room next to you. You're going to hear the vents and the fans all that high and low frequency noise is gonna be coming in. So the quality of the music you're listening to is not gonna be there. I think that's a little bit unfortunate. I think for $180, I think you might be using your money. Uh, you could be using your money for something better if you want actual audio quality. What I do think is a game changer, but I do think is what makes these worth buying if you're interested. And I hope that they incorporate these touch controls into other earbuds on any manufacturer but what i like is that when you use these to do your touch controls you don't have to physically touch the earbuds you can touch and and tap certain areas of your skin around your ear but you don't have to physically smash the actual earbud while it's in your ear i don't know about you but i actually feel a little bit of discomfort when i'm smashing my tapping onto those earbuds while they're deep in your eardrum and your ear canal i feel like i'm just tapping my brain it's a little uncomfortable but with here, you can tap on the lower part of your ear, the upper part of your ear, even almost the end of your cheek where your ear starts. 
tap that twice pretty solidly and boom, it notices the force and it's able to pause it, play, you know, lower your volume or skip tracks, whatever you set it to be. I like that there is an app as well, obviously. So you can do all this stuff in the Sony app, Sony Connect, the app's solid, which I do think is, a, is definitely a benefit. But the meat and potatoes, what you really wanna know, is this worth buying? I don't think this is worth buying. I bought mine, used them for about three weeks. And I said, you know what? These don't really fit in. The audio quality is not there. I already have the Soundcore Life A1s that I use for my working out and my cycling. I didn't really find a use for where these fit in. And I thought, again, 180 bucks, at least new when I bought them. They're too expensive for what they really were. So my suggestion is this is a no. It's a not buy for now. And to wrap it up, that's it, guys. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for subscribing. Please like and comment. Let me know what you think about these earbuds. Would you be willing to buy these or what reasons would you buy them? Or what other earbuds do you think could be a better substitute for these? And again, if you have any questions for me, uh, let me know or if there's any other products that you would like to hear be reviewed. Uh, please let me know. So thank you guys. Again, this is Mike from EE Tech Reviews. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys next time.